Attention, the following video may contain fun, humor, profanity, personal opinions, political incorrectness, and so on. If you are under the age of 18 or are easily offended by something as simple as gendered words, then I suggest you turn this video off and watch something more suited to you. Something like Sesame Street. Don't say I didn't warn you. G'day guys. Welcome to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be doing something really out of the ordinary for this channel. So, a lot of you know, as you, well, as you know, this uh, channel is dedicated mainly to all things radio control. Whether it be cars, planes, helicopters. But as of late... I have been getting into some FPV. Now, for those who don't know what FPV is, FPV is an acronym for First Person View. And a lot of the um, FPV stuff is um, quadcopters. So your yeah, little uh, multi-rotor uh, quadcopters. And there's also some small fixed wing uh, aircraft as well. Uh, one that I've done recently is the Ishin, uh, what's it, Ishin Delta Wing, Mobula Delta Wing. And uh, so, yeah, I've been getting into the FPV. And it got me wondering, how hard is it to build your own quadcopter? And by that I mean, uh, as opposed to, say, for instance... Um, getting one that's got everything with it so you got the frame the motors the flight controller the speed controller the video transmitter and camera and so on and so forth or one where you buy the frame and then you buy the motors and so and the electronics necessary um i wanted to i want to find out how hard it is to make my own frame so i've got two um three inch quads one is an uh, Ishin Tyro 79, I think it's called. Another one is um, uh, is uh, basically it's a frame that, and then I bought the electronics for it. But I'm having a go at making my own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to the bench and show you what I've been doing with while this. Um, uh, rainy periods been going on all right guys so this is what i've come up with so far and it is very basic as a lot of your fpv quads are you know you've got your bottom part your upper part and your parts where the motors are and so forth now this is a very crude design uh, at the moment, I've just got some M long M3 bolts. Um, I am going to... I have some other parts coming for it. Um, this is a bit of a mock-up. So, what it is, it's... Uh, the bottom part here is 4mm thick carbon fibre plate, which I have gone out around with a router. I did a design, um, cut out the design on a vinyl, put it down, and then followed with a router and just cut out a bit of two mil thick carbon for the upper part so that's what i've come up with so far and the motors at the moment i have some x nova uh, 2000 kv motors i have some other parts which i'll show you shortly um also i have 3d printed a camera mount I might, this is something I got off Tinkercad. Uh, what I might do is with the way it's designed, I actually might cut it down the middle so I can uh, flip flip the bits around to mount the camera on. The camera's on its way, it shouldn't be too far behind. Um, so yeah, so what I'll do is I'll pause and I'll show you uh, some of the electronics that I've gotten that are coming, that I have for it right now. Alright, so what I have here is an Emacs Magnum Mini F4. Now, this is 
a flight controller, speed, uh, four in one speed controller, and video transmitter combo. So it's all in one. Um, I decided to go with this because um, I did, looked at it. It was uh, about one hundred and ten dollars from uh, an online shop here in Australia. So I've got that. Uh, comes with your plugs and comes with comes with a uh, linear aerial and it comes with a, an adapter aerial so for um, with a SMA connector and um, I've got a lollipop antenna to go onto that so I decided to go with this I might have I'm gonna to have to do a little bit of research try and find the uh, instructions unless they're hidden in here because I couldn't find any instructions but um, so yeah I've got that um, so it's going to be like a five inch size quad what I do have coming for for um, this uh, uh, video transmitter on the top here supports smart audio um, I have a Foxia uh, camera coming to go on it as well and um, got some 5 inch props and I also have uh, hopefully it'll be here tomorrow as I'm recording this hopefully I'll have a little GPS system to uh, solder in uh, if I can't solder it in, I might put it on another quad, but I want to try a GPS unit too. So, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to actually stop recording here. And I'm going to start putting this together. And we're going to go from there. Well, guys, here it is. So, I've uh, took a couple of days in putting this together. Um, there are a few things that aren't finished um, or will be changed. Um, so for a quick rundown of um, what I've got. So I have uh, Xnova motors. Uh, I'm, I chose these motors because uh, being familiar with um, helicopters uh, in the electric helicopter world, Xnova are quite popular. So I've got the Xnova motors on. These are five inch props. I have a Foxia um, camera. I have the Emacs um, speed controller, flight controller, and VTX stack, and a Foxia lollipop um, antenna. It is an FR Sky Archer um, receiver, and just for the moment, I'm just using a uh, one of the Hobby King Rhino batteries just for a, an initial test. Now, the uh, 3D printed mount that I showed you, give me a second, guys, I'll just get my phone out so I can turn the uh, torch on. Give me a sec. So, as you can see, I know some of you are probably losing their mind right now, as you can only see half of the mount. Um, I actually cut that mount in half so I could flip it around to mount it and for some reason the other half suddenly went missing but um, what I'm going to do is I just hot glued it on for the time being just to test because I intend to make another one and it's not permanently on so when I make uh, make my own 3d printed one I can just um, take this off and mount it uh, properly because I don't want to be drilling, have holes drilled all over the place. So uh, that's basically it, guys. It is a simple build. So what we're going to do is we are going to do a short, hopefully, hopefully a successful uh, test flight in the backyard. It'll just be line of sight, no FPV. Um, 
yeah, so we'll just do a, we'll head out to the backyard and see if this, I can at least get this thing to hover. Alright, we are ready to do a flight, so let's turn it on. Welcome to OpenTX. Alright, arm switch is down. Okay, stability mode. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Well guys, it obviously ain't that hard. I just gotta be careful for the antenna so it doesn't get caught up in the prop. I'll fix that shortly. But how good is that? Alrighty, well I guess the next thing to do now is to mount a camera on it and take it to the airfield. Alright guys, we are actually at a place where I usually uh, test my no prep drag cars. Um, I want to do this about as quick as possible because the weather is coming up pretty bad. So I have my Insta360 on there, it's, uh, it's a small light camera so that'll go on there, hopefully it'll stay stuck on, and we'll see how we go.
Well guys, I'm going to call that successful. I've only been doing FPV for a little while and just getting into it. And um, it was only a small flight and just casual as I'm just, you know, this is custom built obviously and um, I'm not flying at the aircraft field, I'm just flying around a car park in, in a uh, netball court area. Um, and it was also a new short, short flight as, uh, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's just started raining. So, yeah, so um, it was just a short flight, and um, hopefully the footage um, does serves it justice. So, it isn't that hard to, I know for some this might, might be very easy for them to do, but being new to this, I wanted to have a go at making my own uh, custom quadcopter. So, I probably have some more footage of it later on, um, out at the airfield, filming some other stuff. So, if you've enjoyed this video, guys, please don't hesitate to hit the like button. Until then, enjoy your hobby, and cheers.